press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Bitcoin. You might have come across this word quite often in the last few months across various digital and print channels. This has primarily been on account of the gravity defying appreciation, a whopping 20 times witnessed in Bitcoin over the last one year. Many analysts and top financial industry voices, most notably Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfin and Oracle of Omaha Warren Buffett advised investors to stay away. We also have no qualms in acknowledging that we too were skeptics and believe that this was a bubble waiting to burst. In the past, we have used our Twitter handle to share similar opinions. However, a few weeks back it dawned upon us that our opinion and judgments were mainly influenced by hearsay and commentaries from others. That's typically a recipe for disaster and we were not following the basic thumb rule that we try and suggest to others. Do your due diligence before forming an opinion. This thought led us to dig deep into the world of bitcoins and after a lot of hours spent in browsing through articles on the internet and other related media available on the public forum, we have realized that we were wrong in jumping to conclusions without understanding the concept. So this is our attempt towards course correction and try to explain the world of bitcoins as we understand it to our audience in absolute layman terms. Rest, we leave it up to your judgment if investments in cryptocurrencies is something that you would be interested in. So let's start by taking a close look at bitcoins journey in 2017. It's now worth a whopping 17,000 plus US dollars which when converted to Indian national rupees would be a whopping 12 lakhs at the current market price. A cool 21 times price appreciation in a single year. If that is not gravity defying, what is? Today's Bitcoin has a market cap in excess of 291 billion US dollars which is more than Reliance and TCS combined. In global terms, it's bigger than Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, McDonald's, Nestle and many more Fortune 500 companies. Now astronomical, isn't it? Keep watching this video which answers basic questions like what exactly is a Bitcoin, how it came into existence, who built it, where is it stored, why is its price rising, is it a bubble, please continue viewing this video to get more answers on the same. Now having learnt about the price history for the last one year, now we can move on to start discussing the origin of Bitcoins. Now as some of you might have already guessed, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency a type of virtual digital currency that used cryptography for security. If we go back into history, in 2008, an unknown person or group of people going by the name Satoshi Nakamoto first published a paper on a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system based on the blockchain technology and coined the term Bitcoin. After publishing the paper, he went on to write an open source code, thereby implementing the Bitcoin software and started mining Bitcoins with some early technical enthusiasts who were spooked by the idea of a cryptocurrency. Now, in 2010, Satoshi, again for unknown reasons, handed over the network alert key and control of the Bitcoin code repository over to Gavin Andresen and withdrew himself from the public discourse. Gavin, along with others, worked over the years on the original source code to make it foolproof and ensure Bitcoin becomes the gold standard of digital cryptocurrencies. Now, as of today, there are more than 1330 precisely 1337 cryptocurrencies of which Bitcoin has the highest market cap. So what exactly is a cryptocurrency? It is nothing but an encrypted decentralized digital currency transferred between peers and confirmed in a public ledger via a process known as mining. It is generally not backed by any central banks, governments and cannot be counterfeited and is finite in quantity and above all has no intrinsic value other than what two people dealing in cryptocurrencies agree to pay one another in exchange of the cryptocurrency. Now for example, Bitcoin was first created in 2009 and the last Bitcoin will be mined sometime in 2140. The maximum number of Bitcoins that are ever going to be generated is close to 21 million Bitcoins. Of these around 16.7 million have been mined till date and is the total volume of Bitcoins currently available for transactions through various exchanges and transaction platforms. Now there are a lot of different types of digital cryptocurrencies which may be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Dash, etc. Now the second important concept that we must understand is that of a blockchain. Now what is blockchain? For that we need to first understand how 
a cryptocurrency basically works now essentially first someone has to request a transaction once the transaction is requested the transaction is broadcast to some peer to peer network consisting of computers known as nodes now these network of nodes validate the transaction and the user status using some node algorithms once a verified transaction is done and it can involve cryptocurrency contracts records or other information the same information is combined with few other transactions to create a node block all which involves all the data which is required for the ledger now the new block is then added to the existing blockchain in a way that is permanent and unalterable now once this is done finally the transaction is completed now the important factor to understand here is cryptocurrency is a medium of exchange created and stored electronically in the blockchain using encryption techniques to control the creation of monetary units and to verify the transfer of funds so now with a better understanding of how a cryptocurrency works we can say a blockchain is an open distributed ledger of records called blocks which are continuously linked and secured and also can record these digital cryptocurrency transactions the third important terminology that we must know with respect to bitcoin is mining now what is mining now cryptocurrency mining is the process of earning free cryptocurrencies in exchange for running the verification to validate cryptocurrency transactions now these transactions provide security for the bitcoin network which in turn compensates miners by giving them free bitcoins miners can profit if the price of bitcoins exceeds the cost to mine the bitcoins now one important factor to understand here is and it's a very huge factor which involves a lot of criticism of bitcoins and it is that the cost to mine a bitcoin is prohibitively very large due to the cost involved in the running the computers and the infrastructure required to mine the bitcoins till date a total of around 16.7 million bitcoins of the max total 21 million bitcoins have already been mined and are in circulation now rough calculations show that the last bitcoin would be mined around 2140 post which miners will only be rewarded with transaction fees now if you wanted to know more about this mining process i would suggest you go to cryptocompare.com and this has a lot of information centered around mining which may be beneficial in case you want to go ahead and start with the process of mining now you may be thinking like how do i go ahead and acquire a bitcoin now this can be acquired as payment for goods or services it can also be purchased via the bitcoin exchanges now you can also go ahead and exchange bitcoins with somebody near you and you can also earn bitcoins through competitive bitcoin mining while it may be possible to find individuals who may wish to sell bitcoins in exchange for a credit card or paypal payment most exchanges don't allow funding via these payment mechanisms now this is primarily because there were some cases where people were buying with paypal and then were reversing half of their transactions in a process which is referred to as a chargeback now important information if you need to buy sell or exchange bitcoins now global online exchanges allow general public to buy sell or change bitcoins now the important ones among them are coinbase and etoro but these may not be accessible from india so there are also a few cryptocurrency exchanges in india now the india based exchanges which allow bitcoin trades are zeppay and unocoin now there are also a few multi currency exchanges which allow you to trade uh, cryptocurrencies other than bitcoin and these are coinex and coinome now if you are interested we have also provided an affiliate link at the bottom of this video in the description box now in case you have decided to open up a cryptocurrency purchase or trading account you would need to follow some kyc norms and some of them are most of the exchanges would basically allow the users to connect their cryptocurrency accounts with their bank credit debit cards in india one needs to upload his her kyc details example the pan address proof aadhar bank account details for verification once the credentials are verified one can easily transact in cryptocurrencies now while indian government rbi is still to formulate a comprehensive policy around cryptocurrencies it is advisable to declare all profits from cryptocurrencies as income from other sources to avoid any tax default notice from the income tax department now friends today we just presented to you some basic aspects about bitcoins 
in the future we would be coming to you with detailed presentations on the underlying technical aspects of bitcoin now this would be more technical in nature rather than more of a theoretical view which we are doing today now the next also idea that we have is to demonstrate the process of setting up a bitcoin trading account the third would be how to exchange bitcoin with other cryptocurrencies also how does bitcoin rank when compared to digital currencies like dollar when purchasing regular items like pizza or ice cream from merchants and there would be many more so if you have liked our video please give up a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to this channel where we try to bring to you information which will go some way towards contributing to your net worth improvement so thanks for watching and you have a good day